Hey guys, I am the Orange Gamer, and this is Pokemon X Walkthrough Part 13. In the last part, we went through Route 10 and explored Geosange Town, and in this part, we are going to leave Geosange Town and go on a different journey. A different journey, <laughs> keep going with our journey. Uh, I have decided to teach Aerial Ace to Doduo because it could be useful. And uh, let's see here what we have to offer. Let's take away Peck. It's just absolutely useless. It's better to have a release to have something to damage with. There you go. And other than that, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else here. And just a tip, we will be facing a trainer right about here. So I would recommend having flying type or a fire type or a ground type as you're coming up here. Because you're facing this whammon. <laughs> That's me. I'm the trainer. I suppose I don't have a choice. And I will not speed this one up. Just because... Uh, uh, well, I don't know. I just decided not to. That's all. And I've decided to start with Brykzen. Uh Really doesn't matter. Uh, the most effective that I have is a fire type. But fire moves are weakened by the rain. So, yeah. I'll just try and damage it as much as I can and up my speed so I'm so I'm doing this faster and trying to not get the power of punches to oh wow okay um, sword stance that's tough uh, kind of have to get a crit now or have it not attack in this turn here okay that's good that's good I might be able to take this thing down before it's too late. Hopefully. Sure did. Good. Good. Because if it's trying to set up on you, it will be very tough because it's a very strong Pokemon. And, uh, oh, no fighting type move now either. I will not learn that one. I have not even. I haven't even looked up if. Uh, if you get a fighting type move soon, or if you have to wait even longer, or how that's going, I, I have no idea actually. Now I'm almost maxed out in speed, but the issue here is that this guy's setting up right away, which I do not like. Okay, another middle sun. Okay, I'm looking decent right now. Let's see if it's enough. Two sword stances. Uh, hopefully, flame charge is enough. I think it'll be enough if, uh, because I will go first. There's no doubt about that. Oh, it's faint. Okay. Two sword stances on faint. Okay, that did a lot, but not enough. That's it. Just spam attacks and I hope you succeed. <laughs> Level 30. Good. Nice. Light screen. I will not be using light screen. Let's take that away. And she's gone. There you go. I'm sorry about my share. It creaks a bit. I have a new share. It still creaks. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll go back and heal. I'll do that right away while recording because it doesn't really matter too much. And also, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I've actually already recorded half of this episode and uh, I blacked out. I. Uh, I can show you the footage if you want to. Um, I might clip it in. Overlay it above this. But uh, yeah, I kind of... I failed. Uh, you will see which trainer it is soon enough. And I will be a bit more prepared this time. It's my plan. Because uh, <laughs> my preparations were not good enough. And that's also why I thought Aerial Ace to Dodeo right now. Because I will need some flying type that does a bit more damage than peck so yeah that's all the rest to it and I will go back to having dodo up in front uh, we'll see how that goes as I face this first trainer let's go
And there you go. Uh, also, in the first recording, I forgot to equip the dowsing machine, but in here, there's a soup potion. If you use the dowsing machine, you will find the exact same thing. Uh, it's just that I've already been here, so yeah. That's the way it is. Let's face another trainer. And there you go. Let's get on over. I guess I'll take. Oh, hollow clip received. I forgot about this. <laughs> Sycamore, hello. Hmm. Mega Evolution Guru, okay. Guess I'll have to visit him then. No wild Pokemon. I saw the item. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Grab this hidden item, another Thunderstone, I have two now, that's interesting. And I cannot battle the Sky Trainer. I do have a flying Pokemon, but uh, it's not flying, I sp <laughs> can't fly, I guess. Seeing as I'm not allowed to use it. Also, I will not go heal right now, I'll face this final double battle before that. Yeah. A surprising amount of close calls, but that's the way it is, I suppose. I'll pause the recording and I will heal and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back and let's talk to this guy. Nothing at all. I don't think you were allowed to use the dowsing machine in Reflection Cave from what I remember from my first recording that I tried earlier. And here's the super repel. Let's go with that. Apparently I had one when I needed one earlier, but I guess I'll just use this one right now. And let's face this first trainer right away. Let's go. Alright, let's heal up pretty quick. Uh, I think I'll use a soda pop. There you go. And keep going. See if there's anything of interest. I know there's an item up here because I got it last time. It's a revive. And this is about as far as I got. Um, the problematic trainer is right over here. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, that's a wild Pokemon where there's like this all that sand and stuff. And I can see the reflection there if you want to. If you want to look at nice graphics. Uh, this is the trainer that I was talking about. Let's see if I can beat it this time. Ah, sweet redemption. Okay, uh, that Halucha had absolutely or ha had an answer for everything on my team, and it was, so, <laughs> it was so tough the first time because I was not ready for it at all. Uh, but now this time I was prepared and it went a lot better because I had, I had air at least to quickly take care of that that throw. So I didn't didn't take too much damage on the first Pokemon, which is good because I did the first time. Uh, let's uh, go with the next one then. I don't know. Uh, I'll just. I'll just go for it. Yeah.
that's another one down. Let's keep healing ourselves up all the time then. Uh, that was the wrong item for the wrong Pokemon, but that's the way it is. Uh, I'll go with the Soda Pop for Doduo then. There you go. Uh, I don't think I want to have Dodo up in front because it's sort of glass cannon. Sure, I can attack first most of the time, pretty slow, but it works most of the time. Um, ah, I won't have him up in front anymore. I'll just check this place out a bit, see what I can find. Because I, can, I was not allowed to. No, I was not allowed to use it. I was sh pretty sure about it, but I was not 100%. Uh, let's just keep exploring this place. A moonstone, very nice. I think. Did I miss anything up top? Potentially. I don't quite remember. I think I went up here. Oh, oof, that was close. Uh, is there anything of note up here? No. A nest ball. Not that interesting, but it's always something. So that's all that I could do on this floor for now. I gotta avoid all the patches where there could be wild Pokemon. Okay, uh, see if there's anything up here. Need to use strength, so that's the end of the area. Okay, so now I have to go to the bottom floor, and go through there, to head on up to the top floor. I would assume that's the case, at least. What do you want? Oh! There's a healer. That's very nice. I do like that. Come to think of it, should I not have Dodo up in front anyways? Let's go with it. I have a healer now, so now it's fine. Now I can do that. Okay. Uh, here's a trainer. What do you want? Well, uh, there you go. I'll go and heal by this person because it's very, <laughs> that's very useful. Uh, I get all, all my HP back, so that's nice. That's a necessity when I'm playing through this. Uh, okay. Can I go grab this item? There's a staircase here, like you saw in the mirror. A black belt. Isn't that the stack you've... I think it hides fighting type moves? Yes, it does. I had to look it up. And I was very fast with looking up, so you, you have to give me props for that. It went very fast. Uh, let's keep going downwards then, because I can't go up. Oh, here's Tierno. Hello. TM70 Flash, okay. Uh, I don't know... Uh, if I have any need for Flash in this game, I don't remember. But that's uh, the way it is found an escape rope though. That's something that could be useful. You can escape from dungeons or caves if you do that. Or if you use an escape rope. Faster than this black belt. Train! <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't the smartest move by me. I was, or I, I was going to send out Brixen when, uh, when Doe Duo fainted, but I misclicked, so I got Ivysaur in there. It was now very low, so that did not go quite as planned. But that's the way it is. Everything can't go as planned all the time because it wouldn't be fun if that's the case. Uh, Let's just keep going. This video might be a bit long, but we'll see. But I think it will be, <laughs> because there's still a little bit left. I guess I'll pause when I go back because it's such a long way in this cave, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's keep going here. Try to get this place done. I'm getting close. Uh, this is another trainer. And that's 
another one done. Nothing else here at this particular area. Nothing in the crystal. Here's the Ivy Potion. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's just face this double battle then. Evolution, let's go. The final evolution for my Bulbasaur, which has evolved into Ivysaur, and now it's gonna be its last one, which I have as my profile picture on YouTube. It's the Venusaur. I have Mega Venusaur on my profile picture, but that's something we will see later potentially when I show <coughs> Mega Evolution off, which will be cool. Pedal Dance, sure. Take away, uh, take away Vine Whip for that. It's probably a smart move. Would like to have Sludge Bomb on this dude soon enough because Fairy types are no fun to fight. Otherwise, if you don't have any Poison type moves to answer with. Okay, uh, let's face this trainer. It might be the last one actually. So let's go. Everything is just, just turning up Millhouse right now. Uh, Dodo is evolving, Ivysaur is evolving, got Force Palm on my Mianfu, so I finally got a fighting type move, so everything is just, just turning around right now. It's good. So now, I have a Dodrio, which is very cool. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty strong, I can tell you that much, which is nice. That is it. Let's go ahead and grab an iron. That's the stairs right there. Might be the way out. Uh, I don't know. Let's check this out. This is alleged to take me back. Oh, there are different areas. Uh, this might be the way. Yeah, that's the way down. I do not want to go that way. Let's keep going downwards and see if there's anything of note here. If I have to use some different moves to get to this place. Uh, there's a staircase here. Grab some items. An earth plate boosts ground type moves. This video is getting very long. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I can't really split it up. But it doesn't feel like I can. Yeah, I saw that room. You can go in here actually. If you look at the mirror. Let's use another repel. Here's a TM74 gyro ball, which is a steel type move. I think it is very. I think it depends on how slow you are or something like that, I believe. And where are we now? This is very interesting, this place. Probably has some kind of significance. Where do I end up here? I end up back there. Oh, okay, this is this is the way to go backwards. Okay. Well, that is it for that part. Let's just keep going up then and go back to the uh, go to the exit. Faces Hiker, final trainer, let's go! Finally done. Okay, let's use strength and push this boulder, so I'm done with this cave completely so I can use all the shortcuts and all that stuff and let's see the scientist what she has to say oh so if you talk to that girl with one of those three Pokemon it might make a bit of a difference I don't know but I don't know if I'm gonna go to Pokemon Center I might sneak in there yeah good nothing happened good I can heal up and I will definitely end this episode off right here because it's been way too long. So I'll end it off right here. And next time we will explore the city and see what it has to offer. So I'll see you all then. Bye.